At a train station in Odessa, there are tearful goodbyes as families separate. Some passengers on this night train are on their way to safety. Among them is Lyudmila Lichko and her two sons. We were all scared because it was already uncalm for several days. For several times a day, the air raid sirens. There were already airstrikes where we lived. The neighboring village suffered a lot from bombing. And since our house is on the outskirts, the shrapnel could directly reach us. It was terrifying. That's why we decided to leave. It was very dangerous. Lichko's husband, Dennis, stayed behind. It was very hard. It was very hard for us to separate, but we were just forced to leave. It is impossible to live in such conditions the whole time. Passengers on the train make small talk. Some have brought pets. The night train is just one step in the Lichko family's journey. Already on a bus before the train from Odessa, they board another at Ismail. It takes them to a port on the Danube where they get on a ferry to Romania. We plan to go to Poland. We have relatives that live there. They can take us in for some time. Further on, if the situation calms down and everything will be fine, the situation will be fine for sure, we will return to our home. Russia denies targeting civilians and what it is calling a special operation in Ukraine. The United Nations says nearly 6.5 million people have been uprooted in the war, exceeding its worst forecasts.